Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a very small um, Tuesday morning haul and a sprinkling of like a Dollar Tree. Um, let me start by I finally found this. My friend Bona told me that they have this and I'm so excited. I got it because I wanted to see how it's constructed so I can make my own and I thought that's so cute for summer. Um, this one also matches, and I know this is from Recollections, but it really, really matches the sunny days that I will be using this summer after Christmas in July. This one is from Flourish, I think. Yes, it is from Flourish. It's my first time to see this. So it has these, which I love, sentiments and labels. More sentiments, which is my favorite thing in the world. Um... So yes, I'm excited about that. This one is going to be additional for my Hooray collection. Um, I made some tags using Tenille's idea, which is so, so amazing. You guys know Tenille. She is super, super, super inspiring and she has so many great ideas. I'm looking for my cutter. This one is my first carousel 6x8. Um, I... I have one that I that I sent to my friend Pia, who is craft amazing. But this one is a six by eight. I got this after I sent her the package. I would have sent it to her. But this would be super cute to make embellishments, I thought. Um right there. If you've seen it already, I'm sure. You are in love with this collection. I like Carousel, but my favorite, I think, is Bloom, um, Sunny Days, and Gather. Yes. But I think I can use these for cards. I love the gold foil. So pretty colors. I love how she infuses... Um, how cute. She infuses some teal love all the papers i love the gold foil most of all so these are um prints that you can use anywhere actually that'd be don't know what to do with the zebra but that's all right I'm sure i can put it in background so this is like there's no repeats it's it's all 24 sheets and 24 designs um this one I got two of, and this is the crepe paper sunny side. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm really, really excited to work on sunny days because, and I have one of this too, because I'm working on a sunny days kind of 3D kit that I'm going to be sending my friend. Um, I did a typewriter one. I don't want to say... Who I'm gonna give it to because she might be watching so um, yeah. let me show you this one is the the first part of my sunny days 3d collection kit that I will be sending to this special special friend of mine um, so I'm starting to kind of collect pieces I love sending things that match and so that's the first one I'm gonna be working on the rest that's why I got more sunny days paper this one is a project pad it's my first time buying it I didn't buy it when it was on sale at Joann's and I got another sunny days pack because I just love the blue I think sunny days touched my heart because of all the blue I'm just realizing that I love blue I'm just I gravitate towards it so I know that the stickers are super flimsy on this one. So what I do is I put it at on top of Anina Solar White and I just fussy cut them. This one is cute. Ooh, that's cute. How pretty is this? Look at that gold and white. I love sunny days. I love sunny days. I think it's so pretty. It's perfect for summer 2020 because we're not going anywhere. We are just scrapbooking, crafting at home. 
and so yes i love the blues and this one has all the colors i hope there's a blue one in there <gasps> yay there is a blue that is amazing look at all the shades of pink that is so wonderful i'm so glad i got the project pad for this one and then i think you guys have seen this but for those of you who have not i'm just going to do a flip through i want to cut those all apart so beautiful papers love the colors yes yes please so i want to make a suitcase out of this like a suitcase like a luggage that would be so perfect for like a summer themed kind of 3d projects wouldn't it that'd be so cute i think it would be awesome and then okay i know this is random but again with the blue theme i feel like every time i go to tuesday morning i look at this pad every single time and that's happened to me for the past seven times that i went there and so i'm like you know what just get it and then when I got home, I realized, like, I, I, I love this pad. I really like it. I really like it a lot. It's very, very pretty. I know it's an older collection by Dear Lizzie. Um, yes, it is an older collection, that's for sure. But I, I think it's very beautiful. It's called Polka Dot Party. I think it's very beautiful and yes i yes i love this paper lots of neutrals that i can work with just like this wood grain of course yes the frames are cute you can definitely use that anywhere i love the colors and so yeah what i'm gonna do from now on is i think when I'm going to try to send goodies to my friends, I'm going to make sure that it's part of one collection so they all match. For example, um, I was so inspired by the 3D uh, video that I created, which is all coming from Spring Market. If you've watched that video, I'll, link, I'll put a link down below. And everything matches. Everything came from the same collection and it looks so good. So I'm thinking that's going to look good in my friends' um you know craft room or craft area that it all matches and it came from one collection i think it, they would appreciate it if it came from the same collection this would be perfect for a 12 by 12 layout i think the problem with this is there's nothing to fussy cut except for like the cut aparts you know so i really have to add elements from other collections because there's nothing to fussy cut. It's all plain paper. This one is the only thing I can fussy cut, pretty much. But I'm okay with that. I think that's part of the challenge, is having that limitation. Next is, so that's all I got from Tuesday Morning Friends. Next, I want to show you what I got from the Dollar Tree, because I've been going back to the Dollar Tree for a while just to look for this okay so first um okay this one i got from the 99 cent store and i'm going to tell you what i'm going to create with that this one also came from the 99 cent store all of them but from the dollar tree i finally found what louisa found which is these the disc rings these are so expensive you guys it's ridiculous so expensive i mean i i haven't looked at what's inside let's look at it if it's not that great i have no intentions of keeping this um keeping the paper but i think it's cute yes i will not keep it that's for sure but this one i would probably keep but this one definitely i'm gonna discard but i got it for these rings and i i got there's no other colors. This is all they have. I've been looking for this. I've been telling Rachel, my friend who is scrappy happy, like she's in Canada. I told her, keep an eye out for our this small disc rings. Because this is so pricey, I swear. So I don't know why it's so pricey. Anyways, I'm so excited I found that one. 
and then this one I found a silver wire lead light and I am going to create um, a snow and cocoa trailer and I'm going to put the lights around it because I'm doing a swap with my friend um, Kayla and so I'm thinking putting lights around the trailer for snow and cocoa and so and also today I I saw um, a video crystals unboxing video of what Kayla sent her and it's so inspiring because she gave Kayla uh, she gave Chris Kayla gave crystal these ruffled um, like a set of ru ruffled you know trim like it's made of paper some of them made of music paper some of them made from like different dif different things and so um crystal mentioned that would it be made of tablecloth and i just look at the dollar tree i was like maybe it is so i bought this thinking i'm gonna try that and see if it works so stay tuned for that guys and see if we can make um, ruffled paper out of tablecloth like this. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give you an update as soon as I, I'm able to try it. But we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that is the end of my super quick haul video from Tuesday morning. And the Dollar Tree and 99 cent store. I hope you had fun looking at this. And I hope you found something that interests you. Stay safe, friends. Stay strong. Have a wonderful Sunday. And um, take care, pretty much. Okay? If you have any questions, let me know down below. And I hope you found something that would con make you consider subscribing to my channel. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! This is Christian signing off.